Uh, good morning, Mr. Singh. Happy New Year and happy belated birthday. And thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on the news that Twitter plans to lift uh, political advertising. And I, I just wanted to get your thoughts on like, what do you think this might mean for Canada's elections, especially all this conversation we're having about foreign interference? Sorry, sorry, uh, lifting the... Uh, lifting uh, political advertising. Lifting They're, it as a... Lifting a ban, lifting a ban on political right, advertising, right, pardon me. Right, right, right. Um, so uh, in general, what we're seeing with, with Twitter, the approach uh, of Elon Musk as, uh, as the owner and, and, and CEO has been pretty disastrous overall. I think his approach has been one where he has uh, made a lot of decisions, backtrack on them, put out a lot of comments, then withdrawn them, uh, been very unclear about his direction. And we're seeing a really troubling rise in, in hateful messages uh, on on Twitter, that's something that's really kind of my major concern. In terms of the way they approach uh, political campaigning, um, I think there could be ways to 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 provide uh, access in a way that would that would be helpful if there's clear um, notice or clear uh, advisories that this is this is a paid campaign or this is a a paid message. The way we see in in regular ads on on TV. Uh, but I'm concerned about any sort of protocol being put in place by Elon Musk, given his track record, given how how unclear and how horribly he's actually been managing Twitter. I think that uh, any any move forward with him in in leadership has been has been scrutinized and fairly so because of the really unclear and um, and and bad manner in which he's been running the platform. And, and just a little bit more on that, um, are you concerned at all then that this could open our elections up to more to foreign interference? The the concern about foreign interference, I have to say, ha has been a, a legitimate concern, and more and more evidence has shown that that there is there's a number of layers of foreign interference that uh, that have happened or that have that have actions have taken place that are that are deeply troubling, and we need to take that very seriously. Uh, given given kind of the the approach of the current state, given the current state of Twitter, uh, I think that that has become uh, even more of a risk. Uh, certainly, given that uh, the approach that that uh, Elon Musk has taken has meant that a lot of workers have left, a lot of people that managed uh, Twitter and managed or tried to manage some of the misinformation or the uh, or or the the. Tr the troublesome posts that, that have been clearly identified as, as hateful or as, as misinformation, that the work that was done in the past to, to limit that, that work is no longer being done. So I think for that reason alone, the risk of, of that platform being used for foreign interference certainly goes up. And with, uh, with the current approach uh, or with the proposal of lifting the, the ban on political uh, ads, I think that also increases. All of this really highlights how the government has a responsibility to play in making sure uh, social media platforms are adhering to to proper guidelines around misinformation, around hate, and why we've been saying for a long time the responsibility to keep people safe, to keep people safe from misinformation and radicalization can rest in the hands of private companies, has to be the government taking uh, responsibility. And for a long time, we've said that the Liberal government hasn't done the job of making sure platforms are doing uh, or following the rules around making sure hate and misinformation aren't being spread. And so that, again, puts the ball or puts the responsibility back on the government to do what it should be doing. And, and we're going to continue to put pressure on the government to do this, properly prevent hate and misinformation from being spread on social media platforms.